Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Life is good here in Africa. It's another rainy day. We're in uh, rain season here in Tanzania. So I'm kind of stuck in the house. Well, I could leave, but it just kind of sucks, you know. There's dirt everywhere and mud right now outside. So I'm just going to wait, you know, give it a few hours. It'll, it'll dissipate, go outside, do my normal things. Well, anyways, today we're going to talk about. Oh my, my neighbor. Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about the collapse of the dollar, the possible collapse of the dollar. Right? It's possible. Nobody knows for sure. Um, my friend, one of my best friends, kind of like a brother to me, uh, he's an Austrian economist. So he put me on to precious metals a few years ago. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was crazy. I know he's talking about I, uh, I research Austrian economics, uh, Peter Schiff, those kind of guys, you know. Uh, they're obviously very well educated guys, top educated in the world. Uh, all they do is study their economies and stuff like that. Um, and basically, America is a failing society simply because we are a credit based debt-based economy. So people are spending money they don't have. You know, like we're just printing money. Printing money, we've been doing it for years. The, uh, I thought the collapse was gonna be like, I thought it was a little bit bullshit because they've been, if you go back to, host, to the history of Austrian economics, you see that uh, they've been predicting these collapses for a long time. Like more than like 20 years they've these collapses. But now we're actually seeing it happen. I guess this last influx of money they printed was too much too. And people are dropping the dollar. So it just makes sense to get gold and silver, get precious metals. Also, besides precious metals, what else do you need? You need food. So non-perishables. Or, I mean, rice, beans, even shit like flour. Get it? Stack it up, you know me. I have uh, my reserves. I'm just thankful that uh, I've had friends that uh, that study this economic stuff. So I was aware of bricks and all of this stuff way before you know mainstream media started catching it. You know when mainstream media catches something, it's already too late. But like, it's way too late. They've been talking about this stuff for a long time ago, for a long time. Um, Another thing I'm going to touch on is the Fed now, and they come out with. Uh, how people are aware of Fed now. It's supposed to be the streamlined, the mainstream or streamlined way of doing things. Like to be very easy and efficient, cutting out the middleman, cutting out like uh, I guess like PayPal and things of that nature. But I think it's just going to turn into control of what we purchase, what we're spending our money on, they're gonna be able to track everything. Every everything is gonna be digital. There's gonna be no more analog purchases. And that is a problem for people who don't want, you know, their business out there for the government to track, I guess. I mean I don't really care for the most part, but I just don't want the government telling us what we can and what we can't buy with our money. That is something that I'm worried about. So, because um, if you read the Fed Now thing, it says it is a programmable system. So, programmable obviously means they can alter it. They can alter the specifications of Fed Now. You know, Fed Now is coming from directly from the Federal Reserve. You know, uh, I think it's a little suspect. You know, uh, if I were. For my other expats, I would say I wouldn't hold dollars, you know? I would hold whatever, wherever you're at, whatever country you're at, I would, I would hold their, their currency. Because obviously, they're gonna, even if the dollar collapses, uh, they're going to want to, they're going to back whoever's winning, you know, or have their currency backed by whatever, you know, the yuan or the ruble. These bugs are back. But anyway, so I would just be mindful of that. You know, don't hold too many dollars. You know, as an expat, 
what do I need dollars for? Like an excess amount of dollars in my account for, you know, there, there's no benefit to it for me. You know, dollars, people don't take dollars in Tanzania. I can't go pay for something to hand somebody a $20 bill. So it does me no good anyway. I don't live in America. There's no point in keeping dollars. So for me, it doesn't matter. For people in the US, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. Um, if the dollar does collapse, I wouldn't want to live in certain parts of the US, especially a place like, let's say, I'm just saying, for example, I'm from New York, but I wouldn't want to live in New York in the collapse. You know, people aren't friendly. They are not gonna be helpful. It's just gonna be chaos. Places that are chaotic, I wouldn't want to live. Now, if you lived in like, a little backwoods suburbs where they grew vegetables and fruits and just farms and things of that nature, you'll be cool. I think you'll be all right. You know, people would, uh, in those type of environments, people are more humane. It's more of a community. But if you live in a major city in the US, it's not a community, it's uh, every man for himself. So make sure you get your precious metals. Number one, gold and silver. One ounce of uh, silver is like, when I, when I was first buying it, I think it was like $28, I think. Now it's like maybe $35 for, for a silver round, an ounce. Um, I'll show an example, like an up close example of a uh, silver coin. Not the, I'm not gonna show any bars or anything, but yeah, I'll show a couple of silver coins so you can see. Make sure you get your food stocked up, water, just be prepared. You don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody does. Just be prepared for this possible collapse. It's possible. It's not for sure. But I just would not be holding dollars. Got these buds, I'm dodging them. But anyways, it's a wrap. All right, so this is an ounce of silver. It's like 30 bucks, 30 something. You need like a hundred to a thousand ounces of this stuff. This is just one ounce. Like it's like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. You need a lot of ounces to secure, I guess your financial future if the collapse happens. All right, so this is like the drainage system, I guess. When it rains, Stuff gets drained down here.